Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So we are working on the BMW 130i with the N52 engine of course, and we are gonna be swapping out the entire crankcase ventilation system. So we're gonna be swapping out the breather and all of the connected hoses that come with it as well. Now in my case, we have the breather and three connected hoses. Now, this is the breather itself here. This is a Febby Bilstein part. And then for the hoses themselves, we have one Febby Bilstein and then two genuine BMW. Now, I've got these from a company called Fix Parts Online. If you are interested and you wanna check them out and you want to purchase these items that I'm gonna be installing today, there will be a link down in the description box below. But without further ado, let's get the car inside and let's get cracking. Okay then, so to access the crankcase ventilation system, we actually need to remove the intake manifold. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you in detail how to remove this intake manifold in this video, but I will put a link on the screen of a detailed video of me removing this intake manifold. Every bolt you need to remove, every connector you need to remove, and it's gonna be in great detail. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know how to remove the intake manifold itself. Okay then, so as you can see, we now have the intake manifold fully removed from the engine. So now we can go ahead and start removing this crankcase ventilation system. Okay, so we can see we have the intake manifold then. And I just wanna say that whilst removing this thing, the crankcase ventilation system did not come apart in one piece. We do have some broken hoses. This one in particular, came apart in three different pieces. So as you, as you can see, we have one piece still attached to the breather block itself. And then we have these other two pieces as well. This is the pipe that goes from the crankcase breather to the rocker cover at the top of the engine. And as you can see, this part managed to snap near the rocker cover itself. And then this part kind of snapped away from the other two parts. But on closer inspection, this pipe is actually snapped as well. Now, I didn't realize this whilst I was doing my rocker cover gasket. I guess this pipe must have snapped. And I kind of put the rough idle down to the mass airflow sensor, but I really think it was this now, because like I said, you know, this has obviously broke whilst doing the rocker cover gasket. And um, yeah, that's gonna create a massive vacuum leak so i think this may be the cause of our rough running um but yeah we will find out once we have all this um installed and back onto the car but let's go ahead and remove the rest of the crankcase breather so we can go ahead and disconnect this hose from here now we haven't got to be too careful because we are going to be replacing the hoses I mean, when I say we haven't got to be too careful, it doesn't matter if we break the hoses, we're still going to be careful with the intake manifold and any connecting parts. There we are, that's that hose removed. I know you're supposed to push these little tabs in, but as they become old and um, hard and brittle, they uh, just makes it so difficult to get these off. So it's actually just easier just to get two pick tools and prise the sides apart and then you can just pull it off then. Now, I believe, oh, also this pipe snapped as well whilst they're uh, removing it. You can just see how, you know, flimsy and, and brittle these pipes get over time because you have to think these have hot crankcase vapors going through and then obviously it cools again and then it heats again and it cools again. So it goes through a lot of heating and cooling cycles. Um, so yeah, it's only plastic at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I think now we can just go ahead and remove the breather block itself because there's nothing else connected on to the intake manifold. Oh, we also need to disconnect this electrical connector there. It's a little heater plug that goes from the, um, from the breather block itself. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this first. There we are, it's that disconnected. And now we can just go ahead and unscrew the breather block which is held in by three screws. We need to remove this one and this one first, and then this bracket can be removed, and there is also one behind it as well. So they are T25 screws, of course.
and you should be able to remove this breather block now. There we are, that's that removed, along with the connected hoses as well. Okay then, so that is the crankcase ventilation system completely removed from the intake manifold. Next thing I'm going to do, and this is optional of course, is actually replace the intake manifold gaskets. I would recommend doing it though. Um, it just prevents having a intake manifold um, leak. So yeah, I'm gonna swap these out. I do have some fresh new genuine BMW gasket, so we will go ahead and swap these out. Okay then, so now it's time to install our new Febby Bilstein crankcase breather block. So it's just gonna be the exact opposite of the removal. There we are then. Slots over nicely. This plug for the breather block itself plugs in to the first connector, the closest one to it. Plugs in that way around. You'll know when it goes fully in because you won't be able to uh, pull it out again. Now all we need to do is reinstall our screws. So there is this one at the back here. We need to install before that bracket can go on. And there we are then. That is the bracket installed with those two T25 screws. That is the breather block now fully installed. And now we can start installing the rest of our breather pipes, starting with this one here. Yeah, make sure it clicks in. Then we have this hose here, which is the hose that goes back down to the sump. So we'll just go ahead and push this in. No click for that one, but as long as it's securely in place, that's not going to pull out now. And then there is just one more hose to install, which is the hose that goes to the rocker cover. So this one just here. There we are, nice little click on that one. Okay then, so there we go, that is all three hoses now replaced and installed along with the new breather block. And if you're wondering which way the heater wires go, I don't believe it actually matters, but if you're wondering which way they came out, uh, this is the way here. So the breather block itself goes to the closest one or the furthest one away from how we are looking now and then this pipe here goes to the second one and then this pipe here the longest cable goes to the third one and then we will have something else once we put this back in that goes into that fourth one there i believe so then with the crankcase breather system now fully replaced all we need to do is get the intake manifold reinstalled back on the car so as you can see then, everything is now back together and that is the crankcase ventilation replacement now done. Okay then, so that has been okay then. So that is the crankcase ventilation system on the M52 engine now done. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm a bit disappointed really because I thought that was going to solve our uh, rough idle issue. And um, as you guys just heard, it has not. So when we have the MAF sensor, uh, the mass airflow sensor plugged in we still have that horrible rough idle, which is a very, very common problem on the M52 engine. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit lost now, if I'm honest. Um, I've kind of fixed the, uh, fixed the common problems on this engine, and the worst thing is we don't have any codes. You know, once that mass airflow sensor is plugged in, it like idles perfectly, and... Um, 
you know, originally I did think it was the mass airflow sensor that was bad itself. I still don't know if this is the case or not, um, but I would have thought I would have had a code for a bad mass airflow sensor, which I don't. So yeah, I really am just um, just kind of stuck. Um, if, if of course you do have any suggestions, please do let me know. Um, I thought the issue was with the crankcase ventilation system. I thought there was a leak. Um, like I said, one of the hoses was snapped. So I really, I really don't get what the issue is with that. Um, I guess next I could do a, a smoke test just to see if we, if we have any, any more existing leaks in the system. But yeah, it's real, really, really, really annoying. Um, oh, another thing as well. I actually just took it for a drive and um, like I, sat, I sat idling for 20 minutes or so and um, yeah, then, then the idle just went completely normal. Like it was idling perfect. Then I took it for a drive and everything was then fine. Then I switched it off, switched it back on again, and then it had the rough idle again. So, yeah, I really, I really don't know what the issue is, but um, I'm sure we'll get there someday. But I'm going to kind of uh, give this car a rest at the moment. I'm going to focus on the E46. I need to get that done and dusted. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just going to be driving around with the mass airflow sensor and plugged until we can, until uh, we can try and figure out what the issue is. But yeah a little bit annoying anyway i hope this video has been helpful like i said if you do want to purchase the crankcase ventilation uh, breather and the hoses there will be links down in the description box below hope you guys have enjoyed it please remember to give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i will see you all in that next one peace